happening right now a view from above Providence City Hall. And demonstrators are gathering nearby in Burnside Park as members of the Providence City Council consider requests to defund the police. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin begins our team coverage live in Burnside Park. Caroline. Well, Shannon and Mike, I would estimate about two to three hundred people are at this rally in Burnside Park right now, and we are told that a speaking portion of this rally is set to begin momentarily. As you guys mentioned, this is all taking place as the Providence Finance Committee is set to discuss the topic of defunding the police department in just a matter of minutes. Let's give you a look at what we see here in Burnside Park this evening. Now, the calls to def defund the police department have been heard in communities across the country in light of the death of George Floyd, but it's been used by people who want to completely dismantle the department and those who want to decrease funding for police and use that money for other sectors of the community. Now, we've talked with several people at this rally this afternoon who share differing opinions on how exactly they would like to de defund the Providence Police Department. But the organizers of today's event tell me their goal is to redirect money away from the department and into other areas of the community, like education, health care, and public housing. But they say their eventual goal is to abolish the Providence Police Department entirely. Again, that meeting of the Providence Finance Committee is set to take place in just a matter of minutes, we are told both Providence Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry and Providence Police Chief Hugh Clements will be testifying. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.